Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of the Gravestone Pros here at North Country Memorials. We are so glad that you are with us today. We are back for part two of the stencil shootout. It's going to be a good one, so come along. So the first thing we're going to do is put the glue on the anchor. Now, I have had different guys comment, uh, you know, that I put too much or this or that. Um, but also, you know, we've all got a little different way of doing stuff. All I know is I've been doing this since I was about 10, 11 years old. And uh, I don't have issues with, with stencil blowing up while we're blasting. Stuff stays stuck down and works really well. So here is the heart co right there. Now that one does not require any glue. We are supposed to put it on without glue. We got that surface nice and clean. I don't feel any uh, dust on there. My hand came off nice and clean. I really don't want to touch through, but I'm going to make sure to touch kind of well away from where any of the lines are. A little more than I maybe would typically like, but that's okay. It's going on all right here. Um, definitely am working it a little bit differently. This is the heart co again. Get that edge pushed in. Yeah. Okay. That went on really no problem. Fit back in nice and nice and easy there. Now, in the video that they had done, which I just realized, I never ended up linking on my last video. I will try and remember to go back today and do that. And I will try and remember to link it on this video as well for that one. But anyways, I do think I remember seeing them use a roller. I don't use the roller as much as I use the hammer. So the stone that I picked for the Hartco stencil, I specifically used one that just had bold kind of letters that were not small so that uh, it has the best chance of not having anything kind of blow up or have trouble. Um, so yeah, there you go. Now, <laughs> just pulling that stencil up, this stuff peels off the stone so easy and I'm telling you it makes me nervous but according to Hartco we do not need any other filler down and when I pull here at the edge it actually is down good so I think it's probably just a little bit of paranoia and I think it's just because of the fact that this actually was cut through. Yeah, see that one pulled the whole letter and everything right out, which man, I do not love. Yeah, see how that four, I don't know if you guys can see that there. As I was peeling out this part, you can see the white on the back of there, it was coming up. And then when I got to here, it didn't want to pull anymore. And so it pulled the whole thing off. That for me is just not good. It's never good when a middle pulls out like that. It's just not a good sign. So yeah, do not love that. Um, it makes me nervous. How good is that for in there? When I pick like that, it feels decent, and I'll make sure to kind of go over it. I also, I just want to get this out of there now, so there's nothing for it to pull and rip on. Well, I can tell you one thing. There is no way that these are sticking onto that raw stone as good as the anchor, which has got the filler and the stencil. It just... Yeah, there's absolutely no way. Yeah. Again, it's just 
wanting to peel stuff up. <laughs> all in all, we will see how this lasts. We'll see how it holds down. That's obviously going to be the biggest test for this heart co here. But yeah, all in all, the middles of these make me nervous. I do think it's down enough. Like you can kind of pull at those edges and they feel like they stay stuck. That is ready to blast. These are condensed one inch letters uh, versus what I was doing on the heart co stone here. So because these are smaller letters, I want to grab a new knife blade because I'm going to have little bits that I need to cut. Now, in the, in the favor of the heart co, definitely everything seemed cut very precise. Uh, however, it was much, much bigger letters. Didn't have any of these smaller condensed letters that I have here. Now, see, I'm used to how much pressure I can kind of pull on those, and so I can be a little more aggressive than I was with the heart co. Um, maybe that's just familiarity. I'm, I'm used to this. I know what it can and can't take. But now, as I'm doing this, I do see little bits kind of peel and pull up, but I know that I can push them right back down. And because it's all connected nice, I really have no fear. And I know how it's going to behave once it's blasted. Now with this stencil, like right there, it picked just a little bit there and it pulled that up. Now, I know I can take and just push that back down. It will be good to go. So as I finish up these last letters here, and now that I'm not doing the tiny letters, yeah, these big letters just peel so much better. I can do it with much more confidence than I could with the heart co. Just the product acts differently, and the heart co, it just it seems sensitive, seems like it's gonna be prone to have uh, blow up or tear out, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I can't say for sure uh, till we have taken this heart co and blasted it. All right, you guys might hear a little bit going on in the background. I got my lovely cleaning crew, which is my wife and uh, kids. They do my cleaning in the office for me. So if you hear a little bit, you'll know that's what's going on. Uh, I had to laugh because right after I got done saying about how I didn't like the way this stuff smelled, my uh, brother and his wife and some of their kids stopped by and they were like, Man, it smells in here. So uh, they've been around stencil glue and the smell of it many, many times. But uh, this stencil glue from the U-Blast definitely has a little more of a potent, weird smell to it. Okay, so same process putting this back in as with the other. Kind of sticking. Yep, making sure... Now, when I say the other, I do mean same as putting in the anchor. Now, these cut lines, unlike the heart co, these are probably worse than even the anchor uh, stencil are on the U-Blast. So uh, that's definitely a negative. Cut lines are very hard to see, but that's how she goes. Okay, this is what dad has been using to kind of make the cut lines a little easier to see. I think he just kind of rubs it and then, and then he normally I think just uses his hand. I don't want to do that. I don't like the way that looked. Maybe he used to put this on his hand and then rub. I'm not sure the technique he uses, but that did not work quite as good as I would have maybe hoped. 
just want to jump in here and say I took the chalk, rubbed it on my hand, and then rubbed it on the rubber for the next one that I did, and it worked way better. So that is definitely the way to go. Made the cut lines really easy to see. This feels just a little bit thicker than the other stencil. And the way it peels, it all kind of comes up a little nicer. It's not peeling the edges, like the middles of things, like the middle of that R uh, stayed in, I feel even better that edge right there there's a little bit of stuff if you're using this kind of stencil for skin frost if you have that edge like that there it will be a problem um, but if you are using just for regular blasting you don't need to worry about those edges they will blast out pretty quick but if you're skin frosting that's something you would need to make sure is out otherwise you can have a little bit of not sharp edges the corners of these letters are a little more crisp on the U-Blast here than they were on the anchor. So that's something to note. Um, these letters are not quite as small on this U-Blast as what the anchor was. They had some smaller, smaller letters. Uh, but these are way smaller than the Heart Co. And as I'm peeling, I don't have any feeling of um, the stencil underneath pulling up from the glue. So, so far this definitely feels like the most sturdy on the surface. Now, the middle of that A popped up a little bit, which does happen sometimes, but I was able to easily, easily get it back to where I wanted. As far as how precise they are, and how easy they are to peel. This is definitely winning in my opinion. So after peeling this, I can definitely tell you, oh, there's my little helpers again. I can definitely tell you uh, this is much more enjoyable to peel um, than the Heart Co for sure. Definitely gives me less worries. I feel like it's gonna stick better. Uh, but again, I will reserve judgment on that until we put it in the blast booth. But either way, these, are all ready to go to the blast booth. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully it was educational and maybe even a little bit entertaining. That is always my goal. Uh, we have finished blasting, but I do not have time to get this edited and done. So I'm gonna tack the uh, kind of final thoughts into next week's video. So sorry to postpone this so long, but it's just kind of how it's working out. Anyways, thank you for coming and we will see you all next time.